So we actually have uh, quite a few different interesting stories that we like to share with our passengers. I have one in particular that uh, happened in 2016. So I was on the north coast of São Miguel Island. It was a really beautiful day, very calm, and we had, we estimate about 50 sperm whales around, about 30 in the vicinity of the boat. So I was trying to photograph them all, identify them all. Suddenly they all grouped up together and they started to become very active. They were thrashing around in the water. We saw the tails coming up, heads, open jaws, really a lot of activity. We heard some clicking out of the water, which is their, their sonar, how they communicate with each other as well. We didn't really understand what was going on. Suddenly we saw blood in the water. You see this one? Afterbirth. Yeah. Female. We realized that there was a newborn calf in the water, so a baby sperm whale. The mum also seemed to be quite excited to show the calf to the boat, so she was pushing the calf towards the boat. And when they're born, the dorsal fin is um, it's very soft and the tail as well. So it was very easy to see it was a newborn. They also have folds of skin, which we call fetal folds. So the skin is still very wrinkled and folded from being in the womb. After about 20 minutes, suddenly they grouped up again and they started to become very active again. So it was the same thing. We saw more blood in the water again. More blood. More blood. Then we saw another calf. And this continued and it just went on and on. And then we actually counted three different calves at the surface. We saw multiple sperm whale births in one day, which, uh, well, we don't know if there's any way to explain this. We don't know if, if they can control when they give birth, if they can time it to happen on the same day. It will be the, the baby boom, <laughs> baby boom day. The other interesting thing that we noted is that this happened on a full moon and it happened one day before the summer solstice. So it happened on the 20th of June, 2016. So who knows? <laughs> Maybe there's something bigger happening that we, we can't explain.